Mark is a football fan. I asked him to show me his impressive collection of football souvenirs. Well, um, in the cabinets we've got uh, various uh, bits and pieces that I've collected over the years. Um, basically from going to World Cups around the world and European Championships. On the wall there's a lot of my tickets. Um, I haven't missed uh, many games. Um, and uh, it's a really, really, uh, really, really strong hobby of mine. And what team do you support? I support Chelsea and England, of course. And uh, how often do you go? I go to every single home match at Stamford Bridge, um, and whenever England are playing at the new Wembley, which I have a model of here, um, then I go to see England. Unfortunately, or fortunately, since I've had my uh, young boy, I can't go to all the games anymore. So, do you take your son with you? Uh, he's only two years old, so I can't at the moment. And what does your wife say about all this? Well, I actually met my wife at Stamford Bridge, so um, she likes to come to watch uh, football as well. She's been to all the World Cups, um, including she came to Japan in the year 2002, um, and uh, she's been practically all around the world and all around Europe watching England and Chelsea. This is my other favourite piece. Needless to say, it's a Jules Rimet uh, replica trophy from the 1966 World Cup. I also have a uh, medal from the uh, same uh, trope from the same year. Uh, of course, that's one of my favourite pieces because, of course, it's the only time that England have ever won the World Cup. <laughs> Here, um, hidden away, because I can't afford to have this on display because it's the most valuable um, item in my entire collection, is a collection of tickets. Um, Every one in mint condition from the 1966 World Cup final. Um, and it's every game that England took, took part in. I should really be handling them with gloves. <laughs> and that's the final um, of the World Cup 1966, which England, of course, won um, in extra time against uh, then West Germany. Um, and the whole set, including the little pack that it originally came in, is worth over a thousand pounds, which in today's terms in euros is about a thousand euros, <laughs> I believe. But it used to be more, of course, so um, that's why I don't have them on display. I have them in my secret shoebox. So that's an investment. In a few years' time, it'll be worth even more money. Well, my father went to, went to these games and collected these uh, and saved them and kept them in very good condition, um, along with a, a football programme, um, which um, I have here as well. So your dad went to the cup final? Yes, he went to the, uh, he went to the cup final. And uh, here's the programme. I just showed you the tickets. He went to the final and sat behind the goal um, where Jeff Hurst's goal did go over the line. Um, and here we can see the programme, which he kept again in very, very good condition. And I was fortunate enough to meet up with um, the World Cup uh, finals team. And you can see there they all kindly signed it for me as well. That is impressive. Um, which, um, which, that is very impressive. You know, which does uh, make the item worth obviously a little bit more. Um, but uh, I won't be selling them um, because uh, you know, the, the, the sentimental value, I'm hoping that my son <laughs> that I mentioned earlier might be interested in uh, inheriting them and taking them over. Has he shown any interest in football? I know he's only two. Um, he likes uh, rock music uh, a bit more than football at the moment, but uh, he does uh, manage to say Frank Lampard, which is a good Chelsea player and England player at the moment, and he does also like Chelsea very much, and he's learning all the songs that we sing at Stamford Bridge. So I'm hopeful that he'll uh, come through and uh, carry on the hobby. Are you happy with the way Chelsea's changed over the last few years? Um, to be honest, I'm not. Um, I'm against the modern football, which is obviously run by money. Um, I do personally feel that, um, as I'm sure a lot of other supporters do of other clubs in the UK and Europe, and indeed uh, the world, where money, too much money is put into a club, the supporters suffer. Um, they basically have the club taken away from them, um, and there's no sort of, you don't feel you're part of your, your, your football club anymore. You feel as if it's owned by um, other people um, like Sky, and in my case, uh, Roman Abramovich. Thank you.